although I have Louie here, I'd like to discuss some of Louie's training. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is how Louie is learning to wait at a doorway. I don't want Louie to enter or exit any doorway without an invitation to do so. That's obviously for his safety. So when I get ready to enter this room, I'm going to turn to Louie. I'm going to make my hand like a traffic cop and I'm going to tell him, Louie, wait. I'm going to be prepared to block him with my foot if I need to. That is so good. Okay, Louie, come on in. What a puppy. So once he's waiting politely, come on, Louie, pop, pop, pop. I'm going to invite him in. Good boy. I'm going to have some items on the ground that I don't want Louie to have. I'll see if he'll go after any of those items and I'll demonstrate how to call him off of something that you don't want him to have. Ah, good boy. So you saw Louie went over, he put his nose on that slipper. He heard the noise, which means no or stop to him, and he immediately retreated. And that's when I'm going to tell him, good boy, Louie, you did exactly the right thing and reward him with something he can have, affection and a dog toy. Now if Louie continued to go after any of those items that we have on the ground, I can increase the intensity of that noise, which means no or stop to Louie first. And then if Louie still isn't listening, that would be when I'd take my two fingers and I'd give him a little poke on the side of the neck. That little poke simulates a bite like a mother might do with an unruly puppy, but Louie says, oh, I've got it. I'm gonna come over here and get it. Good boy, Louie, a job really well done. Good puppy.